What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and some more Blood and Plunder coverage. So we have an English starter set that we're going to take a look at today for you guys. And again, we have one of our contributors um, getting into the game and getting in with English. So happy to take a look at this and see what all you get on the English side. So as normally you get 25 figs um, and we'll see how that breaks down here in just a moment. Alrighty guys, so here is everything oops, that we get for uh, the English starter. So we get two sets of freebooters here because that's going to be kind of your main uh, sort of frontline unit and they're pretty good overall. We get a Buccaneer Storming Party and they're fantastic of course, uh, sometimes also called Forlorn Hope or um, by a different name uh, for the French which we've done a separate video on so check that out called the uh, Les Enfants Perdus. And then a box of sea dogs so that kind of gets everything together for us we also have the eight uh english militia uh, which we'll um uh, get here in just a moment that also come in here so we get eight freebooters eight uh, militia and then for each of these guys uh, to get us to 24 and then a generic english commander as well we also get one of these cards that will run through your different units here and give you an idea on their stats and everything. And again, overall, freebooters are fantastic for the English. Uh, just more or less everything is fantastic, seemingly, for the English. Um, even the militia, especially if you do get some chances to upgrade for them. And that's your one inexperienced unit for the time being, um, at least at the outset, right? But then trained for the other guys. And again, overall, pretty good stats. Although the Sea Dogs, again, are going to be more focused on um fighting up close and personal and but it can also act as artillery crew and so on and so forth so but freebooters uh again just good overall fighting shooting and as you can see some pretty good special rules ball and shot marksman fast reload sailors as well the forlorn hope of course are again great ball and shot fast reload and vanguard and uh just you know festoon with weapons too um and then the militia which we again we've covered separately uh, again overall pretty good and they are drilled and then uh, from the original uh, rules for the game, so the again, the Caribbean Militia as the option and the Buccaneers as the other uh, army option there. But again, much more added with the expansion book. So we'll be right back. We're going to get some of this organized and open for you guys, and then we'll be right back. All right, so up first here, you guys, are the Sea Dogs. And again, some fantastic sculpts as is normal for the game here. So this guy's ready to just get in and mix it up in combat. A little bit of flash on these, though. But more or less nothing that needs uh, any bending or anything like that. So this guy's ready for some action. Then we got this guy kind of advancing forward here at a run. Got the tomahawk there. No pistol there, but tucked in the belt, of course. So just love the style that all these minis have as well. Probably my favorite out of this particular group here is this guy here. Just got the sword at the ready as well, pointing the pistol. A little bit of flash, of course, but really cool look to this guy. And then finally, the fourth of the Sea Dogs here. So again, another guy just ready for some melee action, pistol tucked into Sash here. And overall, just really great detail, and these all paint up fairly easily as well. So, good stuff there on the Sea Dogs. We're going to take a look at the Freebooters next, and then the Generic Commander, which is tucked in there as well. Alrighty, so, got the Freebooters open for you guys, and again, one of the two blisters will have your Generic English Commander here, who looks pretty awesome as well. Yeah, it looks like he's pointing and giving some orders, but super well detailed here. Got sword, pistol, all that fun stuff. And certainly will stand out as your commander on the battlefield here. So pretty easy to identify there. Freebooters, you basically get um, four different guys, but two, uh, two essentially different poses. You got two guys that are essentially aiming uh, down their guns here. And just to kind of walk you through that. Great detail overall. These guys did have a little bit of uh, bending that needed to go or needed to happen there, but not so much really in the way of flash. A little bit to clean up as usual, though. The other guy. And 
then one guy kind of just at the ready here. Actually, they both kind of are. Okay, and oops. Then the final guy. So again, overall good stuff there. And again, you get two uh, blisters of that. And then freebooters again are going to be kind of your main unit, at least out of the box, as far as just sort of cream of the crop there. And again, just great at ranged. And especially when well led, they can definitely do some work for you. So last up, we'll take one more quick peek at the militia. But again, we did cover those guys separately. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we got everything opened here. So and this is uh, Militia, so overall, again, really good stuff, really well detailed, a little bit of, um, not so much flash on these guys, but some bent rifle barrels, as is going to be normal with, again, the packaging the way it is. But again, absolutely gorgeous stuff once things are painted up here. So we got one guy aiming down the rifle here, another one kind of charging forward. Kind of a crouch here. Another one reloading. A little bit of flash on that. And then another guy reloading, but basically in a different pose. So overall, good stuff. And again, you get two of these to make uh, or you have eight militia total, essentially, right out of the gate. So, again, fairly typical loadout and um, across the nationalities. So you kind of get two groups of eight of your sort of mainstay units, uh, sort of a sailor-type unit, um, again, different name for everything, and then uh, some other uh, units sometimes, like with the English and the French, kind of have like a storming party uh, type of unit or Forlorn Hope, whatever you want to call it. Um, Spanish, you know, you had like natives and other things like that. So, but overall, really good stuff. Uh, and English, again, are a really exciting, kind of the, one of the main factions, of course. And what we'll cover soon here as well is just they have some really exciting uh, special characters, right? Some named historical uh, figures. So, you know, like Henry Morgan, for example, and William Kidd, just to name two off the bat that, you know, do actually have miniatures for the game and just uh, some really superlative stats and abilities so if you are playing english you getting access to those is just one of the the fun parts of that faction but as always guys let us know what you think of playing the english and their various sub factions etc uh in blood and plunder what your experiences have been so far um what you enjoy particularly about the english and if you've played against the english what um what do you find difficult to go up against or where do you feel like you have some advantages over the english so hit us up in the comments there guys like and subscribe as always help us continue to grow and then we will be back with more Blood and Plunder coverage here soon. We're going to take a look at Morgan and Kid in some upcoming videos here and then get on to some battle reports for you guys. So thanks so much for hanging out as always. We'll see you in the next one.